My name is Zach Richards. Uh, I'm a director at DWD CPAs and Advisors in Fort Wayne, and I've been a CPA for about 10 years now. So looking back on things, I think our biggest benefit was just being ready to adapt when the pandemic hit. We, you know, we had some hiccups along the way, but uh, for the most part, it allowed us to continue doing our work. Shortly before the pandemic, we implemented uh, Microsoft Teams, which allows us to communicate and collaborate. We knew we needed to do it and we, we kind of got the ball rolling. And then when the pandemic hit, uh, our usage of the product just went through the roof. I think the digital workflows is, is probably the, the biggest, um, it was most challenging for sure. Because uh, we, we essentially had to change the entire way we approach uh, doing a lot of our work. But uh, looking back, it's also offered us some you know, efficiencies and ways to uh, work smarter as we, as we go through the process. Well, I think the first thing is to identify the pain points um, that you have. And, and then once you know where those pain points are, uh, whether they're for you internally or, or maybe pain points for your clients, then you can start to look at, well, well, how do I, how do I fix that? What, what, what can I change to, to make those pain points go away? Uh, and, and then secondly, I think it's just looking at what others in the industry are doing. Uh, if, if everyone else is making these advances and taking the pain points away from their clients, and you're not, then how does that position you uh, going forward into the future? Usually I'll start within the firm and find some of the, the champions of, of what we're trying to accomplish. Um, and that can be really anyone in the firm that, that's gonna utilize or, or benefit from the project. Um, and then we can also reach out, you know, what are other firms doing in the area? Uh, and what are firms doing you know, nationally. And if, if they're all doing it and, and we're not, then it usually gives us a, a path to head down and figure out why we're not doing it. We're implementing portals that a client can just log in, upload files, uh, retrieve their tax return. And we're, we're we're seeing those numbers increase dramatically. So putting the processes in place to make sure those portals work smoothly and, and as um, easy for clients as possible. I think the biggest thing will just be, uh, we'll see more and more remote engagements and uh, less geographical boundaries to, to clients you can work with. And one of the things we are already seeing is clients that uh, last year we had to do some work with remotely. And now we're, we're kind of going back to them and saying, okay, as we move into the summer and the fall, would you like us to come back on site or would you like us to just continue to do it remotely? I think it's important just to be ready to adapt. Um, we don't really know where technology is going to take us. Uh, but we know that things are going to change. And I think just being open and having that mindset that uh, I want to get better, I want to provide a better uh, product for my clients. And to do that, I'm going to have to make some changes along the way and embrace those changes.